a light day today as we talk about day seven of Buffalo Bills training camp, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to keep you up to date. Welcome to Believer's Talk, partnering with www.wearthestampede.com. Welcome to another training camp edition of Believer's Talk, where we keep you up to date on all things going on in Buffalo Bills training camp. Before we do that, however, I want to remind everyone, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, guys, be sure to do so. Not only are we going to have you covered throughout training camp, we're going to have you covered through the preseason and then into the regular season as well, as between myself and Hashtag Sports, we give you all the live Buffalo Bills play-by-play -play reaction to every single Buffalo Bills game this season so again subscribe here go over to hashtag sports subscribe to them as well and then follow us on sportscaster.com all the links in the description below you'll join us there you won't regret it again as we look forward to the 2019 NFL season so guys again like I said not much going on in day seven of training camp for the Buffalo Bills basically we're looking for an opportunity for a lot of these players to get healthy also, some roster moves, some adjustments going on with our roster going into day seven. So we'll talk about those a little bit as well as we release Jeremy Swirl or Jeremiah Swirls. I'm sorry, Searles. And uh, he did post a video on Twitter, so I hope you guys watch that. Just really a class act, wishing his teammates and the Buffalo Bills the best of luck and thanking the Bills, the Pagoulas, Coach McDermott, and Brandon Bean uh, for his for their support through his journey. Unfortunately, injury uh, led to an injury cell between Searles and the Buffalo Bills but we hope the best for him as he goes on to continue with his playing career and then he said something about podcast as well so we wish him nothing but the best going through some of the injuries from training camp there is quite a few nothing too new uh, most of you guys know about these injuries but we'll keep you up to date Jerry Hughes is nursing a little bit of an injury. Spain, Quinn Spain, nursing an injury. And then we know about Morris in concussion protocol. Car uh, Micah Hyde also uh, on the injury report for today. Again, my thoughts are most of these just precautionary. Wonder if there was a game situation, if these guys wouldn't be available to play. But we want to make sure they stay healthy. Not only do we want to make sure that they stay healthy, but this also is a great chance for the young guys or the new guys on this team to step up and show what they can do. With Mitch Morse out, Bodine's been stepping in on the offensive line to see what he can provide for us. And also, uh, you're talking about Coleman, who we just picked up uh, to replace Gaines. He could step up as well and uh, just see what we have as far as depth goes at those positions. So that's what today was all about. Yesterday, day six of training camp was actually the Bills' longest day as it went over two hours, I believe. So today was the day to just kind of recoup, get out there, no pads on today, and just run through some dr drills. We saw Kyle Williams back again working with at Oliver. News of note, Tyree Jackson again. First player on the field. He seems to be consistent being that first player on the field. He did have a post-game conference where he talked about uh, Josh Allen and Mark Barkley, kind of welcoming him in and helping him out as well. So that's always good to see. Teammates helping each other out. Always good to hear. Like I said, we did do have some roster movement going on today. So Jeremiah Searles was released. So we picked up uh, guard Nico Siragusa um, to kind of replace both him and the retired uh, Isaac Asiata. Again, Isaac Asiata retired as well. So that is some news uh, going on in the Buffalo Bills as far as the roster goes. I will be doing a video on Nico Siragusa just like I do all the Buffalo Bills free agents that we've signed so far this season. So again, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I do go over every single free agent the Buffalo Bills have signed. And I will be doing that with a video on uh, Nico, Nico Saragusa. So again, hit that subscribe button and that will be one of the videos here coming up. Um, but other than that, again, not much going on in training camp today. No new injuries, so that's always a good thing. But today was a lot about getting healthy. A lot of vet guys were able to sit today, waiting for tomorrow uh, or Saturday, Friday or Saturday, I believe, when we go back to New Era Field to play on, to have the practice there. And then we're just a week away, guys. One week away 
from our first preseason game against the Indianapolis Colts. So be sure that you're ready for that. I'm ready for that. I'm looking forward to it. So again, guys, hit that subscribe button. Like this video. As again, not much going on in day seven of training camp. Let me know if there's something I missed. Maybe you were getting some reports I don't know about. There's been a lot of people on Twitter talking about the retirement of Mitch Morse. He did have his fourth concussion, or at least he's in concussion protocol. So we can only assume he had his fourth concussion. I haven't heard anything too ridiculous other than on Twitter as far as rumors about Mitch Morse retiring. I would not worry about that. We did a video on Mitch Morse yesterday when we kept you up to date on training day six, uh, training camp day six. But I wouldn't worry about Mitch Morse's retirement. I'm not even too concerned about this concussion. I don't think it was that serious if he had a concussion at all or if we just put him in concussion protocol just as a precautionary measure. Maybe he said I wasn't feeling well. Maybe he said I was feeling a little lightheaded. Whatever the case might be. But you figure as of yesterday, he was already on stage three of five in the recovery process. Again, I've said before, I'll say it again. I'm not worried about player participating in practice until August 16th. That's going to be our second game against the Carolina Panthers. I want to see all our starters in that game, even if it's just for a series. And then I definitely want to see them in by that game, uh, August 23rd. I think it's against the Detroit Lions, that third preseason game. That's that dress rehearsal game everyone talks about. Definitely want to see them there so we don't have to see them come week four preseason. So again, guys, like this video, leave a comment. Are you worried about Mitch Morris or are you worried about any of these other injuries? I personally am not at this time. I look forward to having them all start for the Buffalo Bills this season. I look forward to talking to you all soon as we continue to keep you up to date on the 2019 Buffalo Bills. I'll talk to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.